Shalom, my friends. Welcome to this week's Word Study. You know, last, last week, <laughs> I put up a video titled, Satan's Name is God. <laughs> well, you know, I thought I would get a lot of flack for that. Um, it's a provocative title, I agree. Uh, but I have to tell you, you know, honestly, I don't come up with these videos. Um, the Father puts it on my heart and I obey. And, uh, you know, I honestly, I thought that video would bring a lot of anger towards me. And uh, I have to be honest with you, I was very surprised. Um, there were a lot fewer uh, attacks against uh, what I was saying than I thought there would be. I mean, after uh, just a few days, more than 5,000 views, I, uh, I might have blocked eight people or so. And, you know, they, they came in with a lot of anger. That's, uh, that puts up a red flag to me uh, right away. Uh, that's, you know, when people get angry and attack, they're operating in the flesh, not in the ruach, not in the spirit. And uh, they were a attacking uh, in ways that made it very obviously that they didn't even watch the video. It's only 20 minutes. Uh, and if you, if someone can't give 20 minutes to seek out and see to be a Berean, as Shaul wrote, uh, to search the scriptures to see whether or not what Alan is saying is true or false, then, uh, you know, they're just in the flesh and, and they're holding on to the past and they don't want to think out of the box. They don't want to seek uh, the truth, they just, they just want to be in their own comfort zone, or they want to be right and be their own gods, and, you know, I, I have no interest in trying to prove anything of the Father's Word to anyone. I share His truth. I do my absolute best to not give Alan's opinions about things. I am just sharing what his word says. Now, aside from that, there were um, a good number, not many, but there were a good number of people who obviously uh, watched that video, and it was the first video they ever saw of my presentations. And uh, it was confusing for them. It's like, what do you mean? The word says God. A lot of people seem to think that the Father's Word was written in English or that uh, uh, he, he guards over the English translation and the Spanish translation and so on and so forth. But I don't know that I can agree with that. The Father commanded, um, You shall not add to or take away from my word. That's a commandment. And as I've pointed out many times before, whenever you take what the Father gave, and he gave his word in Aramaic Hebrew, uh, when you take that, which has an Eastern way of thinking, and you translate it into other languages that have Western ways of thinking, you are adding to it and you are taking away from it, you right then and there have, uh, have disobeyed the Father's command. Why would he honor that? Now, I'm not saying that these translations are completely wicked, you know, they, they bring us his truth. But, you, you don't just get his truth. You don't get it. Get, grab a hold of this. 
when when people are searching for the Father, you don't get it. Did you get that? <laughs> you don't get it here. We are constantly in a state of getting it. We are always getting it. We will be getting it for all of eternity, but we will never get it. We will never own it. You can't put it in your pocket and say it's mine. You can't say, oh, I got it. I'm done. You're never done done seeking the Father or learning about Him, ever. And these people who get angry, they're the ones that want to own it. I'm done. I got it. It's over with. I own it. I own salvation. It's mine. Once saved, always saved. You can't, can't touch, you know, that's, that borders on the lines of cult ways of thinking. The Father's Word was given with an Eastern way of thinking. What is a pencil? It's something I write with. That's the way Yeshua would answer that question. What's a pencil? Oh, it's a yellow stick. It has a rubber pink eraser on this end. comes to a point on that then. There's a little piece of lead in the middle. That's the Western way of thinking. Focusing on form, how something looks. The Eastern way of thinking focuses on function, what something does. You never see a description of Yeshua in the Word because the Father doesn't focus on form. You see all about what Yeshua did. Function. So, uh, anyway, you know, Remember this guy? <laughs> yeah. Go ahead. Say something to my friends. Did you hear that? No? <laughs> you know why? Because I deleted it. <laughs> Everything that comes out of his mouth is not worth listening to because he can't see, he can't hear, and he can't understand. He doesn't have ears that hear, he doesn't have eyes that see, and he doesn't have a heart that understands. Now, go back where you belong on the floor. So, um, <laughs> I wanted to um, just make those points. There are people out there, they get angry with me. I, I don't care, you know, it's like... I'm not looking for esteem. I'm trying to bring esteem to the Father. And anyone who gets angry at what I do, they don't disagree with me. They don't, dis they don't agree with the Father. It's not that they don't agree with me. I'm not, I'm not presenting Alan's thing, presenting the Father's word. So, um, you know, don't, don't let those people bug you either. And if you're one of those, you know, you don't understand, what, what does it mean, you know? The Bible says God. Please try and understand that the Bible was written in Aramaic Hebrew, not in English. And the Father's name was removed. It was taken out. I'm going to cover some of those things. Let's get on with, uh, with our study. Isaiah chapter 14, verse 12, King James Version reads, How art thou fallen from heaven, O Lucifer, son of the morning? Where we see Lucifer in the King James, the original Aramaic Hebrew says, Halel. And where it says, Son of the morning, the original Aramaic Hebrew says, Bain Yalal, which means, Son of the howling, yelling, or boisterous one. You could say, son of the morning, uh, in the original Aramaic, Aramaic Hebrew says, Bain Shechar. Strong points at both, Bain Yalal and Bain Shechar. Shechar meaning dawn, early, light, morning. But I chose in, in my study to focus on the root word, which is Yalal, because it paints a much truer picture 
of what is being said. Now, certainly, Isaiah chapter 14, verse 12, that's Yeshayahu, chapter 14, verse 12, is talking about Satan. There's no question about that. I'm just showing you how it does not say Lucifer, that the inclusion of Lucifer was man adding to and taking away from the Father's word, disobeying his commandment. The Father never said Lucifer. The Father said Halel. Halel comes from Strong's number H1966. And Strong says that it means the morning star or Lucifer. Halal comes from the root word, H1984, halal, meaning to boast, to be clamorously foolish, to rave, to give light, to be mad, to rage, to be renowned, and to shine. And this is why I say Strong's is often in error, my friends. They have added the name Lucifer because Christian tradition came to use the Latin word for morning star, which is Lucifer. But here we go again. Satan is not the morning star. Yeshua is. And further, the Father's word was not written in Latin. And Lucifer is not the word the Father gave. Nor does what he gave mean morning star. The father said, Halel. That is spelled He Yod Lamed Lamed. He, picture of a spiritual man. Yod, picture of an arm and a hand. It has to do with work, what one makes. It has to do with actions, what one does. Then we have Lamed, picture of a shepherd's staff has to do with being a teacher and a protector of the sheep. It has to do with being yoked to Yahshua. It has to do with discipleship. Hillel speaks of someone who operates in the Ruach, in the spirit, not in the flesh. One whose works and actions reveal just that. It has to do with, it's saying, talking about one who is yoked to Yeshua and who teaches and protects Yeshua's sheep. This description is what Satan was supposed to be. And this description is exactly what Satan, God Riel, became the antithesis of. Satan's name is God Riel. That is spelled Gimel Dalit Resh Yod Lamid. Gimel, picture of a foot. It has to do with one's walk, either toward the Father or away from the Father. Dalit, picture of a door. Yeshua is the door. It talks about moving in and out of that door from the physical to the spiritual, from the spiritual to the physical. Resh, picture of a man's head. It talks about who one's headship is, what your thoughts are on. Then we have Yod. We just saw that picture of an arm and a hand. It has to do with your work, what you make, it has to do with your actions, what you do. Lamed, we looked at that one again also, a picture of a shepherd's staff. It has to do with being a teacher and a protector of the sheep has to do with being yoked to Yahshua, and it has to do with discipleship. God Riel is a name that denotes someone whose walk is with Yahshua, whose headship is Yahuwah the Father, whose thoughts are always about pleasing the Father, whose work and actions reveal a love for the Father, and who is one who teaches and protects Yeshua's sheep. That describes the way God Riel started out. But unfortunately, it also describes the absolute opposite someone whose walk is against Yeshua. 
someone whose headship is himself, whose thoughts are always about pleasing himself, being his own God whose work and actions reveal a love of idolatry, and who is one who teaches lies to Yeshua's sheep and attempts to destroy and kill them. In Exodus chapter 23, verse 13, the Father tells us that we should never speak the names of any false gods. Quote, in all I have said to you, take heed. Do not mention the name of other gods, either in blessing or cursing. Do not let such speech be heard from your mouth. There are those who like to say that the Father's name is I am that I am because of Exodus chapter 3 verse 14. But for some reason... <laughs> They always choose to ignore reading the very next verse. And they also choose to ignore the more than 7,000 places in his word where he says his name is Yahuwah. Let's look at Exodus chapter 3, verses 14 and 15. Verse 14, And Elohim said to Moshe, Elohim's the Father, the Son, and the Ruach, speaking as one. I am that which I am. He's saying, I am what I am, and I will be what I will be. He's speaking with anger here. He's not saying his name yet. Quote, and he said, Thus you shall say to the children of Israel, I am has sent me to you. Here's the verse they don't read, verse 15. And Elohim said further to Moshe, Thus you are to say to the children of Israel, Yahuwah, the Elohim of your fathers, the Elohim of Avraham, the Elohim of Yitzchak, and the Elohim of Yaakov has sent me to you. This is my name forever, and by this name I am to be remembered to all generations. Malachi, that's Malachi, chapter 2, verse 2 says, If you will not hear and if you will not lay it to heart to give glory to my name, says Yahuwah of hosts, then I will send the curse upon you, and I will curse your birchot, your blessings. Yes, I have already turned them to curses because you do not lay it to heart. Malachi, chapter 3. Verse 16, quote, Then those who feared Yahuwah talked often to one another, and Yahuwah listened and heard it. And a book of remembrance was written before him of those who reverenced and worshipfully feared Yahuwah and who thought on his name. How is anyone to think on his name when his name's been taken away in more than 7,000 places in his word and replaced with the title, Lord? How is his name to be revered and esteemed when no one knows what it is? Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy what? Oh, his name. What name? People say that prayer time and time again for years and years, praying, hallowed be thy name, and never ask, what name? Why is that? If you really love the Father, you won't find anything I'm saying in any of my videos offensive. To the contrary, you will want to embrace these truths. You will want to draw nearer to him and to his way, the way, the way it was in the beginning, the way he said it and the way he gave it to us, the way he intended us to know it, not the way man or Satan would like us to. 
That's our study for this week, my friends. As always, I hope and I pray that these videos are a beracha to you and yours. Abba willing, I'll see you next week. And until then, shalom, my friends. Another working day Some would rather let it lie But the question Still remains